Right now at 530, it is a busy Friday night during the evening commute. You can see the traffic behind me. Actually, that looks pretty good for a Friday evening, but you know, you know how it can be. Talk about traffic bottlenecks. You have to think of these exchanges, the I-84 and the I-91 interchange in Hartford. That has to be the worst, Dennis. That tunnel can be pretty tough certain days. Connecticut is home to six of the country's worst areas for bottlenecking, and Channel 3's Mike Savino is in the weather tracker, joins us in the middle of the congestion. Although, Mike, it does appear you're moving along fairly smoothly. Yeah, we're moving along well right now, but we're approaching one of those spots uh, that made this list, uh, the Mixmaster in Waterbury. We're on Route 8 right now, heading towards the I-84 interchange. And the thing is, what we're approaching isn't even the worst spot in the state. I travel from one side of this state to the other. Bridgeport is horrible, New Haven's horrible, Waterbury's horrible. Spencer McGee wasn't surprised when we told him Connecticut has six of the 100 worst locations for congestion around the country but he intentionally left out Hartford. I'm on my way there now. I was trying to leave it out on purpose. The American Transportation Research Institute compiled the ranking using GPS data from truckers. The I-95 Route 8 interchange in Bridgeport comes in at number 74, followed by the Route 8 and I-84 interchange in Waterbury at number 64. The I-95, I-91 interchange in New Haven comes in at 56. Then I-95 in Norwalk comes in at 47, followed by I-95 in Stanford at 43. Ranking at number 14 is the I-95, I-91 interchange in Hartford. Torsten Madsen says he's not surprised. He recently drove here from Boston. He also used to live in Chicago. Think different, think other alternative solutions, get the people to ride and share cars, share rides, go by buses, fix faster trains. The ranking is likely to be more fodder for everyone calling for Connecticut to do something about its transportation problems. Governor Ned Lamont has been pushing for tolls. We reached out to his office today but got no response. Earlier this month, he shared details of an $18 billion, 10-year transportation plan. Joe Scully of the Motor Transportation Association of Connecticut says he expects things to improve once new data comes in. He points specifically to recent improvements to the I-91, I-95 interchange in New Haven and to projects to the Mixmaster and Viaduct. Scully also says Connecticut can ease congestion on the highways without tolls as long as we spend our existing road taxes like the gas tax, petroleum gross receipts tax, registration fees, and new car sales tax on highways, roads, and bridges. Now, in case you're wondering what or how our neighbors fared in this list, New York had five locations in the top 100, Massachusetts had three, and Rhode Island had one. From the weather tracker outside of Waterbury, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Mike. Safe travels out there. And for a link to the full study of the worst roads in the country, head to the Channel 3 app, or you can use the Channel 3 app to check traffic before you go out on the road, which will ease some of the anxiety and the pain.